yes, there's a lot of excitement about iBeacons, but let's talk about the, you know, what is an iBeacon or what is a beacon? There's a, a lot of confusion around that terminology. Are they one in the same? Are they different? Um, all for what I know is that iBeacon is nothing more than Apple's trademark that refers to, you know, protocols, devices, and uses Bluetooth L, uh, LE to create user experiences. Well, you know, it seems very simple. Um, I've heard right. it is with the i. You know, you add an i before before an iPhone or iBeacon or iPad. Yes. You probably think it's, it's probably obvious, Apple. Right? It's probably <laughs> Apple. Something Apple. Yeah. Exactly. So the beacon itself is actually any device that transmits a signal, a Bluetooth low energy signal, that allows any other device to determine its proximity to the broadcaster. Now, what a lot of people get confused of is a beacon actually doesn't transmit a message direct to the to the phone. It doesn't transmit any content. Content. It actually just transmits a signal. So it lets the user's phone or their tablet figure out what its proximity to the beacon actually is. Now, the signal that's actually being sent is called the UUID, the unique, universally unique identifier. The UUID actually helps distinguishes your beacon from other beacons that you probably own. For example, Apple would have, probably have one UUID for its beacons in one store. Another company may have a different UUID. And another component of the UUID, now these are optional components, are the major and minor values. Now the major values actually specifies a particular beacon within a group. For example, if you set a major value of number one, this could refer to beacons only in your store in New York. Major value of number two could refer to the beacons in your Los Angeles store or anywhere else. And the minor, minor uh, specification actually gets a little bit more detailed. So the minor value actually groups a related set of beacons altogether. So for example, within your New York store, maybe you want another beacon at the entrance. This could have a, a value of three. Another beacon at a certain department in your store, which could have a value of four. And even the cashier, which could have a different value of five. So it's the combination of these three components that actually that makes up what the beacon actually does transmit. Hey, let's let's uh, we talk a little bit about um, the excitement and what beacons are and how it all comes together for Passkit um, uh, in particular. I mean, when we first got into the uh, or, or when we when we started uh, the company and, and decided to focus on this, it was because of the power of um, online to offline. Yep, taking something which happens online and uh, then translating that into an offline transaction, something that provided real world value, real, real world benefit to the consumer, um, allowing them to, to really um, leverage the technology um, that they had within their pocket um, to create something of, of, of value, of pleasure, of, of gain, of, of, of benefit uh, for, for that customer. What we see with, with beacons is um, an opportunity to uh, go from offline to online to offline. Now, what do we mean by that? Well, as Wendy said, um, these beacons broadcast a signal. Um, so if you imagine a lighthouse um, in the middle of your shop, um, casting a beam of light around in a, in a circular radius, yep, that radius may be 30 meters, 40 meters, 70 meters, all depends on how you configure your, all depends on how you configure your beacon. But what we're able to do using beacons is, we know when somebody's stepped under the light of your lighthouse. We know how long they've been in there. We know where, if you've got a beacon network, potentially where they were before that. And we know when they leave that. So when they enter, when they're lingering, when they leave, um, we know exactly where they are. Yeah? Even though they're offline. To them, they're offline. They're just standing in, in, in your store uh, and their device is in their pocket. The power of the iBeacon um, is uh, what Apple has done within the specification is very clever. Um, the iBeacon and the way in which the signal is broadcast is slightly unique to all of the other Bluetooth traffic, traffic that flows around. And the iPhone, um, any iPhone running iOS 7 is able to pick up that signal, is able to very quietly and discreet, discreetly wake up uh, even when it's in the pocket or the purse or the bag of the, of the user and start communicating back with your servers, start processing logic on the device, and there becomes our opportunity then to translate that into, into something that the customer can use, um, such as a voucher, such as a, a coupon, such as information back to the, to the retailer. Um, the, the possibilities of what you can, can use this for um, uh, are endless. Um, but it all starts with, um, with, with this 
discrete network, if you like, of, of beacons silently broadcasting, silently casting light around radiuses of, of, of interest that, that you want to know when your customer enters that, that zone, you want to know about it and you want to be able to provide them with a service which is specifically targeted or a benefit that's specifically targeted to them being at that place at that time.